my BF wanted me to do an IQ test to prove how intellectually superior he was. When I, female, was 17 at the time, I had a boyfriend who was very pretentious, I personally always found that funny, so I didn't mind, however, he was hell-bent on proving how much more intelligent he was than me. One day, he was bragging about an online IQ test he did and how smart he was. He begged me to do one as well. However, I had just smoked and was high so I refused, after some more begging, I decided why not? It could be fun. Despite being high I scored higher on the IQ test. He was so pissed it was hilarious. He never bragged about his IQ test again. Another time, he really wanted to show off by playing chess against me. I'm really bad at the game and told him so. But I knew people who were good and they gave me the advice to never have a pawn that was not protected by another. So, I did just that. Halfway through I had captured most of his pawn and he raged quit. At chess. He flipped the board and broke some of his pieces. Needless to say, a week or two after we were no longer together, I made him too insecure and he went back to his ex who he called extremely stupid. At least he gave me a lot of laughing materials for years to come. Now to the comments. Anyone who wants and needs to prove that they're smarter usually isn't. And any man who must say I am king is no true king at all. George R. R. Martin, A Storm of Swords. Step 1. Political scandal. Step 2. Definitely not resigning. Step 3. Resign. Step 4. Profit. Anyone who wants to play chess only against people who won't win has issues that need a therapist. If I recall correctly, the character of Fraser Crane couldn't stand it when people he deemed himself to be smarter than would beat him at chess. Woody on Cheers and his father on his own spin-off show. Fraser is the best show of all time, Imo, so well written. I used to play chess with my wife, then girlfriend, and I was really impressed how quickly she went from not knowing how to play to being a real challenge. 30 years later she has 4 degrees and is principal scientist at her company. She's smarter than me, she makes more money than me, she's better looking than me. All because I'm good to her and can make her laugh. You. You're a good human. That's probably why she loves you, man, because you're a good person. What a fragile individual. My ex-husband was like this, but much more covered. He would likely act like neither bothered him, or invalidate the test. Say he was taking it easy on me with the chess game, or punish me somehow, hours, days, weeks, months, or even years after. As we speak, I'm trying to talk my daughter back into going to college because his self-worth is so wrapped up in how smart he is that he convinced her she's not college material so she couldn't surpass him. I know that's what he's doing, as farcical as that seems, because he did the same with me. Then, when I went back to school a few years ago, especially when he heard about my 4.0, he wouldn't pass up a chance to laugh at my easy classes my major in psychology, aka unemployment. So freaking slimy. Good job putting that creep in his place. My shitty college boyfriend would constantly demean the fact that I was majoring in accounting. He'd call me a shill and talk about how we have too many accountants and not enough real thinkers. We lost touch after we broke up sophomore year, but I checked out his LinkedIn a couple years ago. He and his philosophy degree managed a McDonald's for a couple years until he went back to school, for accounting. Your ex is brain dead. We have a massive accountant shortage right now lol. Happy to be part of the party with Yak. The fact that he bragged about getting a high IQ from an online IQ test tells a lot about how intelligent he is. From what I've seen, there really isn't much difference between online IQ tests and those what kind of potato are you? Tests. 
Mashable has entered the chat. My wife is crazy smart. I never really understood this bit, but one of the things she really liked about me when we first started dating was that I was cool with it. I never tried to claim that I could also get a PhD if I wanted nor tried to diminish her for intelligence. It was apparently a problem she always faced with guys she dated for some reason. I still don't get why. Who would be anything other than flattered if a smart, beautiful woman likes you? Men with fragile egos Around 20 years ago, I worked with a guy named Thomas who always thought he was smarter than everyone else. He had taken an online IQ test and bragged to everyone at work about his score of 145. He tried getting all of us to take it and would ask about it every day. I finally broke down and took it just to shut him up and scored 149. Surprisingly, that did not bother him as much as I expected. There was a girl named Christy that also worked with us who he kept pestering to take the test. She confided to me that she had already taken it, but scored much lower than Thomas. She did not want him to know because she knew he would never let her forget. I told her to just tell him she finally took it and scored 155, because I knew that would drive him crazy. Later in the shift, Christy told me that she had told Thomas she had scored 155 on the test. He did not believe her. He knew, beyond a shadow of a doubt, there was no way she scored higher than him. He told her the only way he would believe her was if she sent him a screenshot of her score. I told her to let him know that she would email it to him. That night, I went home and took the test again. I knew which questions I most likely got wrong, so it only took me a couple of tries to have the correct answers to all of the questions. I printed those out and took them to Christy the next day. That day, she told Thomas that she forgot to email him her results but would do so the before work the next day. When I saw Christy the following day, she was grinning from ear to ear. She said she had to take the test a few times to miss the right number of questions and finish in a time frame that gave her a 155 score. When she did, she emailed a screenshot to Thomas. He was very upset that she had scored higher than him. I made a point of rubbing it in when I saw Thomas that Christy was smarter than him. He still couldn't believe it, but could not deny the proof. The second time that I mentioned Christy's higher score to him, he smugly said something like well, she scored higher than you, too. I just looked him straight in the eye and said, the difference is, it doesn't bother me that Christy is smarter than me. I know it just kills you, though. He went on for the rest of the day about how he couldn't believe Christy was that smart. Once in a while during the time I worked with Thomas, I would bring up the fact that Christy was smarter than either one of us. He passed away a few years ago. I never did tell him what really happened. The funniest part of all that is that a score of 150 plus is, usually, not something genuine IQ tests award. If he's invested in his score enough to brag about it, he should probably have known something was fishy. I may be remembering the scores wrong. It was 20 years ago after all. I know his was in the 140s and mine was a few points higher. I had her tell him hers was a few points higher than mine. I know the scores I gave here are close to the actual scores, but it is possible they were all between 140 and 150. People who boast about their IQ are losers. Stephen Hawking Great story. He's probably still mad. Point of information, you do know that those online IQ tests are invalid, don't you? OP replied. Yeah that's why I didn't really care about it lol. LOL yeah, I've encountered his type. I have an ex who was a snowboarder while I was a skier. I was healing a broken ankle at the time, but I could ski very gently on easy slopes without issue, not the smartest decision, but I never said I was smart. He wanted to try skiing. I offered to hook him up with another skiing friend to teach him the basics because I was neither in condition to teach nor was he the kind to learn well from a romantic partner, 
which is totally fair, he refused, and made a point of announcing multiple times to don't feel bad when I pick this up quickly. I'm just good at this stuff. He insisted on running an advanced run. I told him I wasn't comfortable with my ankle the way it was but he begged and I surrendered. At the top I re-evaluated and decided it was not a good idea, and took right of shame down the lift. Needless to say, I enjoyed casually skiing up to him on my ginger lap at the bottom of the hill to help him untangle his limbs from an otherwise easily avoided crash had he taken my advice to seek lessons and start small. He called it quits on the skis only a few runs in, and we didn't last much longer after that. Nor was he the kind to learn well from a romantic partner, which is totally fair, why couldn't he learn from a romantic partner? You're more emotionally invested in a romantic relationship compared to others and the added stress of learning slash teaching can disrupt the normal flow of the relationship. It sounds odd but it's honestly normal for a lot of people. I try and fail at lots of things with absolutely zero care, but if it was my wife trying to show me something and I was failing I would take it much more personally. Not because I'm mad at my wife for being better than me but because I value her opinion of me more than all others and I'm disappointed in myself for possibly lowering that opinion. As an example. My wife likes to go to wine and painting classes and has invited me multiple times. I've tried, but I'm not an artist and get frustrated when my hands refuse to create what I see in my head. Since I'm not willing to devote the time and energy to be a better artist I just ask my wife to go with her friends rather than potentially have me spoil a good time with a bad attitude.